What's up, everyone? Haley Elwood here in the car about to do a ride along with Desmond King. How you doing, everybody? Intercepted Desmond King to the house! So here's what you need to know about Des. He's a DB and a member of the Jack Boys. One, two, Jack Boys. He's from the Motor City. And he loves to bowl. But you will learn all of that and more in today's The Winning Drive. Presented by Chevron. Ready. Action. So Des, you were born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Yes. What was the best part of growing up there? Uh, the best part about growing up in Detroit, I would say just having like the inner city lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Just the way, you know, people live life in Detroit, it brings family closer together. Yeah. Um, there was not, you know, many opportunities for our family, you know, growing up. Just going through that, it kind of definitely humbled, humbled me in a way. You set a couple records in high school. I believe you had a state record for 29 interceptions. Yes, That correct. still stand? Yes, it still stands. Okay, <laughs> and you also, so you played obviously DB, you also played running back mm -hmm. though, and you had a school record in career rush yards. Yes, coming out of high school, I was, I think the number one running back in the state. Okay. Which is pretty crazy. We're number 20 for a certain reason? Barry Sanders, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, growing up, I was a Detroit Lions fan, and just watching Barry Sanders and what he did as a running back kind of influenced me to play running back and wear the number 20. But also with defense, the 20 started with Ed Reed as well. Yeah. So Ed Reed and Barry Sanders were my two idols growing up and just watching them playing ball. It was, it was like, wow, like both of these guys are really great at what they do. That's good. So bowling, I know, is kind of a Midwest thing. How'd you get into it? When I was first introduced to bowling, it was just going for fun. Mm -hmm. But then as I kept going, I feel like it was like a competitive sport almost. And I was like, this is something I can do in the off season that can keep me competitive at what I do. Yeah. I mean, it was just started to become natural and I wanted to figure out ways to really know how to bowl and get really good at it. Yeah. So I think that's what made me get more interested in bowling and bringing my, you know, competing against like my teammates, my friends. What's your highest score? 220. Okay. And That's that was good. and that was not with the bowling ball that I bought. Oh, that so was oh, with, so you're a pro. So you yeah, have like your I own have, gear. I have three bowling balls. <laughs> I have a bag, shoes, all that. Okay. Who's the best bowler on this team? Mm, it's tough. It's a top four people. Me, Keenan, Melvin, and Casey. Yeah. Those us four, I feel like, are the top four people. No specific order. Okay. At least one of us. One one game against out of all four, so okay, that's why I can't put it in a good ranking okay. right now. So what many people may not know about you is that you're also an author. Mm -hmm. You have a book yes, that you wrote with your book. mom. Yes, I do. Why'd you guys choose to do that? Um, just something to give back, you know, to the community and mm -hmm. to kids, you know, that feel like that they don't have the ability to do something. Yeah. And I feel like you know bringing and delivering that message to, you know, young kids and young athletes. You know, I wanted to reach out to those guys, those kids, and let them know that, you know, it's okay to feel like you're not able to do it, but as long as you try and push to it and push forward to it, um, you know, there is going to be progress. All right, so Des, now it is time for the final mile challenge presented by Chevron. So I'm going to put 45 seconds on the clock, and I'm going to need you to name 10 childhood TV shows that you watched growing up. So 90s, 2000s, Tell them when somewhere in there. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Uh, Curve the Cowardly Dog, SpongeBob, uh, Go Diego Go, Rugrats, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, Teen Titans. Mm -hmm. uh, You're at six. What else we got? American Dad, Family Guy. <laughs> Are those childhood shows though? That's what I was watching growing up. <laughs> You're um, a very cultured kid. Yeah, Futurama. Okay. Uh, Drake and Josh. All right, hey, you got them. You got ten. Oh, nice. With uh, like 13 seconds to spare. Yeah, I was I was sneaking watching TV at this time. Okay, <laughs> so, so there you go. That's definitely, those were my shows that I could not watch, but I did watch. So with that and your questionable TV choices, we're going to give you the unbeatable mileage hat from Chevron. Ooh, yeah. There you go. 
got my do-rag on. <laughs> now I got something to cover it up instead of my hood. There you go. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice right there. Come on, Bull fans, you want some more of this? Click subscribe, hit this button right here. Click this button right here and you can get all of this that you want. Come on, both fans.